All right. So uh, I bought a chainsaw. Um, the reason is I really didn't own a cha chainsaw. I've been using my dad's old McCulloch here, which is a 1010S. Um, the old McCulloch is a pro saw or professional. Um, I wanted the same type of pro saw. Uh, I went to the True Value and uh, I talked with, it was the owner of the True Value. And uh, I looked up some stuff on Echo about what they had and it almost seemed like all their saws were professional. And when I talked with him, he showed me what he had like uh, on display and I asked him about the, I think it's a Timberwolf. And I thought that was a professional saw and he said it wasn't. And uh, he said, I explained kind of what I was doing, what I had, and he said this, the model here is a CS500P, he said that's what you're going to want. He's like, that's, uh, that's the size. And I said, well, I wanted something with 20 inch bar. Uh, this one here back here has only got a 16, and I've used all 16 inches of that bar in some of the stuff. So I wanted something a little bit longer. And... Uh, I, I, I want to say these are similar in cc's too in a way of size. I think this is uh, It's like a 50 or a little over 50 cc I'm pretty sure this one is the same um, So yeah, I mean it works fine. They, they set it up and everything for me and put it together um, Out the door. I think it was under 400 Yeah they were running a sale. I think it was like I want to say 394 with tax. So out the door 394 for this Echo, and I think normally the saw runs about 470. So and he told me they only run the sale once a year, and it was like 20% off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I really, I mean, I'm not really doing a review of this saw because I don't know much about it. I use it a very little bit. Um, obviously, I'll use it more in the future, but I just. Uh, Last time we were out at our bug out location, tried it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's get on off switch here. The choke is over on this side. Um, there's no throttle lock like the, the old McCulloch has a throttle lock, but it starts pretty quick. I didn't even put gas in it. It came with a full tank of gas and oil, and I mean, I didn't run it, run that much in it. Um, seems like it's got a lot more uh, RPMs which I'm sure it does compared to this saw. It is a lot quieter, that's for sure, compared to the old Mac. Um, what else? It's a lot lighter. I want to say this saw is like in the 10 pound range, which it still seems like there's enough weight to it, but when you compare it to this old beast here, like you can tell that there's an extra five pounds in that saw. This saw here though, this will make a man out of you, guaranteed. Um, and it's it's loud so um, I went with echo because I don't know I just didn't want to go with steel uh, I don't know really be, between those two and Husqvarna I mean there really isn't anything else out there um, you know some other brands from what I from what the uh, the guy at true value told me see really Husqvarna has all the other uh, models they've consumed a lot I think they they own the old McCulloch brand, which I thought these guys here started the first uh, single man chainsaw, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, what was it? What else were they going to say? Oh, they also own, uh, is it Johnsard, which was another one that made a really good chainsaw. I guess they uh, also acquired them. So Echo is still, uh, still their own brand. Um, I'm assuming it's probably like a Japanese engine or something. Um, but yeah, I didn't do a lot of research. I mean, I did a lot of looking at different echo saws, but I honestly didn't know. I went to home, home Depot cause they carry a bunch of saws, but like the guy at true value said, that's going to be, a what they carry in stock is non-professional. I could probably get this saw, but it would have been an order thing. And I wanted uh support saw has got a five year warranty, you know, and they told me if there's any issues with it, bring it back. They'll take care of it. So that's, what's nice. And they, Warranty and everything is registered, so um, I don't even know what like the uh, what the chain is. I don't know, it probably says here. 
I didn't really, like I said, I don't know. Other than what the guy said, hey, this is a, this is a pro saw. And I know, like, according to Echo, pro saws, there wasn't much difference, but the uh, actual handle here was aluminum instead of composite. And then I think maybe the cylinder or cylinder wall was a different material. Um, but otherwise, we'll see. So, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment purchase, but we'll see how it works out. I mean, for the money, I don't think it was that bad because, like, when Dad bought this saw in 81, he said he spent about 300 So, you know, I'm a, a little under 400 on this. I should be all right.